It's that time of the year again in downtown Fayetteville, Georgia. Changing leaves, fall festivals, pumpkins, chili cook-off. Excellent. Very Excellent. good. Very good. Um, so today in Fayetteville, they're having the Fayette Chili Fest and uh, Salsa Fest. It's a huge cook-off in Fayetteville every year. Apparently there's 25 competitors this year uh, and several salsa competitors. So it's a huge competition. They have a barbecue and it's all for the Shriners Children's Hospital. We have the United States Army represented here and, and we're proud to have them. Shriners John and Arlene Law started the Fayette Chili Fest five years ago after attending a variety of chili festivals for more than 20 years. Well, everybody gets here at 8. They start chopping up all their vegetables and then at 9 o'clock we light the grills. They start to cook and then at noon they turn in all their chili to the judges and that's when everyone starts to buy tickets. And tickets are a must if you want to try any of the competitors' chili. They're a dollar a taste and all the money goes to the Shriner Hospital and the um, most tickets in a bucket is actually a taster's choice, so they kind of win that way. But we actually have official judges that work at the courthouse that are our judges, so that's kind of cool. Self-proclaimed chili experts from all over Fayette County showed up, some in costume, to try and lure ticket holders to their tents for a taste of chili and that coveted drop in the bucket. Sergeant Audie Murphy club member and chili maker, Sergeant First Class Courtney Young showed up for the competition with just her husband, a secret recipe, and a heart for compassion. Today I wanted to represent the 335th Signal Command Audie Murphy Club um, because Lieutenant Audie Murphy was a Mason and a Shriner. This is a perfect way to continue his tradition as a Shriner and if he could be alive today, uh, he would be here, he would be doing this leading from the front. Uh, telling his story and, and taking care of young children like he did soldiers. We made two full pots of chili, six quarts each. Um, I think we had a very hearty chili, things that people didn't expect, hominy. Um, people thought it was corn or chickpeas, and I think that really helped us out. Young's chili didn't place, but Arlene Law says having the military there makes it an all-around winning day. Love it. I love it. I wish we had an American flag, bigger. We have one hanging, but it's like, I, I think it's wonderful. We've got the cops here. We've got all sorts of representation. And when it's all said and done, Fayette Chili Fest proceeds go to a cause that's near and dear to the founders' hearts. I've been to the Shriner Hospitals, and not until I went to one and actually spoke to Shriner kids, did I realize what what we were doing. It's uh, totally and completely heartwarming. So this is great. Reporting for the 335th Signal Command Theater, I'm Army Sergeant Joy Doolin, Fayetteville, Georgia.